Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In our Trend Macro series, today we are going to see how to check quarantine files on Deep Security Manager console as well as your remote agent server. As well as I'll cover how to restore those quarantine files. So without further ado, let's get started. Very first, open your Deep Security Manager console. In Deep Security Manager console, go to the Computers tab. Under this, as you can see, currently I have two servers. One is Windows and second is Linux. So very first, we'll see how to check the quarantine files on Linux server. For that, double click on that. This is my Red Hat server and currently online. Now go to the anti-malware. Inside this, click on identified files. Here, as you can see, I have one file, which is quarantine. So guys, if you want to download this particular quarantine file from the console, you can do that by simply right click and then request download. As well as you can click on this tab to download. But since currently this file is kept on the local machine under the quarantine directory, so we cannot download. But yeah, we can request these files like this. And as you can see, Deep Security Manager has sent one request, okay, to get this file. So in the backend, your Deep Security Agent will send that file to our Deep Security Manager console. And once the file is available, then here the status will get changed. Currently it's in download pending. After successfully import, you can click on this tab and then click download button. And then file will be in your hand. And you will be free to do whatever you want with that particular virus file. Additionally, if you want to check this particular file on the uh, Linux server itself, then how you can do that? Let me show you this. But for that, we have to jump into the Linux server. Friends, very first open the your terminal. And now we'll have to log in with admin privilege. Once you logged in, then we need to browse on path. And the path is cd space var, then opt, then ds agents, then guest. And now press 00 and tap. After this, you will have to go to the quarantine. Click on enter. Now let me type one command which is ls or ll. You can see this is a file which has got quarantine. You can see the extension qtn. So guys, this is how you can check the quarantine file on the Linux server. Now let's we'll go back to our Deep Security Manager console. Okay guys, so this is how you can check and download your quarantine file. Since it's going to take a little bit of time, let me show you how you can restore the file. So simply click on that file which is quarantine and then click on restore. Select next. One identified file was successfully restored. Now click on close. That's it. The file is gone from our Deep Security Manager console. Now let me close this. Let's jump back to our Red Hat server again. Open the terminal. As you can see, right now the requested file is not available in our Deep Security Manager console because it's got restored successfully. Let me press LL command as well. Total is zero. So friends, this is how you can download or restore the file using your Deep Security Manager console. Now let me close this. Let's go back to our Deep Security Manager console now. Now guys, let's check out the quarantine file for our Windows server. Double click on the Windows server. Go to the anti-malware, identified files and here is my another quarantine file. Let me show you quarantine. So in Windows also, you can simply right click and request for download as well as from this location. Download, request for download and the same message which has got appeared and the status is downloading file. But it's again going to take a little bit of time. Hence, let me show you how you can check quarantine file on your deep security agent server. For that, let's jump into the Windows server. Open your file explorer, this PC, C drive, and now we'll have to go to the program data, train micro, AMSP, quarantine, and this is the place where your quarantine files are getting stored. 
this is an encrypted format like uh, Linux. In Linux, the files are getting saved with QTN extension. But in Windows, the extensions are different like 618, 178. So it's a random number. Hence, we won't be able to do anything with the quarantine files because it's completely encrypted and unusable. So let's again go back to our Deep Security Manager console. Now we'll try to restore this file. Right click and then restore. Next, one identified file was restored successfully. Now let's close this window and the file is gone from our Deep Security Manager console. Now close this. Now again, we'll jump back to our Windows server. And here is the magic. Earlier there were total three files, but right now it's only showing two files, which means our restore operation is successful. Now let me go back. So friends, this is how you can check your quarantine file on Deep Security console as well as your Windows and Linux machine. And as per your requirement, you can restore those files with a simple few steps. Friends, if you found this video useful, then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. Click on the bell icon so that you will never miss my future video notification. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the next amazing video. Till then, bye-bye.